What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it was pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. It really is. It's pretty awesome. I'll tell you why it was awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yes, we caught ourselves a shiny Silcoon, guys. A shiny freaking Silcoon. First shiny Pokemon ever caught in the wild. And I think I told the story about how I got myself, you know, a, uh, what was it called, uh, how I, I bred a shiny Pokemon too. I'm kind of hoping that it will, it will continue eventually around here and all that stuff. So, yeah. Let's go right ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and continue our adventure right here. So, in the last episode, I did say I was going to capture some Pokemon off screen. Yeah, that's going to have to wait until, uh, right after the end of our, you know, after fifth episode. Because, well, I kind of want to do a little something something. I, I, I want to beat everybody. I want to have everything ready to, you know, fully train the Pokemon that I really want on my team. So, here we are, Rustboro. First things first, we're going to be going here. And, uh... We're going to be talking to this gentleman right here, this big old gentleman, he's like, That determined expression, the liberal way you move, and you're well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you will be, cap uh, be capable of putting this HM2 to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. And there you go. We get ourselves the HM01 cut. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down prickly trees if the trainer has earned a stone badge. HMs like this can be used outside of battle too, so with a, with the right badges, and that is true. We won't be doing anything right now with the HM01. That will be safe for later. Now, there are quite a few things that I'd like to visit before we go on into our first battle. First is first. I believe if you talk to this person, uh, yes, this, okay, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I think, uh, oh yeah, these people are talking about nicknames and all that stuff. Yes, I am pretty good with the nicknames. Well, not good. They're somewhat good, or I don't even know, guys. I just like to come out with nicknames or whatever. And, well, let's see, let's talk to this person, see what this person's all about. Do you, do you use the detector mode on the dex nav? Apparently, the more you encounter the same Pokemon, the better the search function will be. Its accurate search capability allows you to find rare Pokemon. They say that you can find Pokemon with strange moves or rare abilities. That is exactly how I did it with uh, Olay. I think I went to, I think I ran into like six different, uh, six different, uh, what was it called? Uh, low tads before I got to the low the Olay that we have I think I don't know the exact number of how many Pokemon you chain search to get a shiny Pokemon but eventually you will find a, a shiny Pokemon so now here we're talking to this person he's like no no way I don't want to share a room with my little brother I'm a grown-up woman really and well I'm sitting down right there that's pretty cool that they a lot us to sit down and time really flies when I'm doing housework perhaps I should hire a Pokemon housekeeper you probably should and here's the little brother my parents got the got a house while I was raising the two of us I have the highest respect for my parents okay I mean that's pretty much it that's that's everybody right there okay so let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here in Rustboro City. I believe if you go right here, this is the trainer school. And there will be somebody here. Let's see, talk to this guy, I think. Hey, I'm not a weird man. I I'm the head of this school. To prove that, I'll share some knowledge with you. I'll explain the various badges you can get at the Hoenn region. Sure. Let's go with the stone badge. If you have a stone badge, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey your every command. And, well, let's see, Knuckle Badge, if you have a Knuckle Badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey your every command, and, uh, yeah, you know what? It's the Pokemon, you know, obeying you. So let's go to this guy right here, see what he's all about. Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw, you see? Whether or not you're good, uh, you are a good student will be evident from the way you use, uh, this item. And here it is, guys. We grabbed ourselves a quick claw, which will occasionally... You know, increase the speed of our Pokemon right here. So, I think that's another item that we kind of... That's an item that we don't really need, or we do need, but eventually... We'll be using on another Pokemon that, well, will be needed. Now, I think if you talk to these people... Gym Leader Roxanne knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong, too. Uh, Trader School is excellent. If you study here, you might be a Gym Leader one day. Okay. So, I guess it skips it. 
And, well, let's see. I think there's an area right here where you can actually trade. Yeah, you can trade for a specific Pokemon. Not gonna do that. And, well, let's see. The building houses many employees of the Devon Corporation and their families. True. Very, very true. Okay, so, let's see. Talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, my dad is a real ace in the Devon Corporation. I'll have you know, it's no wonder I'm an ace myself. Here, I'll give you something that an ace trainer like me uses. And we get ourselves a floatstone. This one right here lightens up your Pokemon. If you have a Pokemon to hold the floatstone, its weight will be halved. Although, it looks like it will be a while before you can use something like this as well as I can. Now, the funny thing is that if you go upstairs and then you come back down... Yeah, homeboy right here. Changes. He's like, dot, dot, dot. For some reason, I've put on a lot of weight recently. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is funny. So now, if you talk to this kid... My daddy works at Devon. This is this here is something he made. I can't use it, but you can have it. And yes, we're getting ourselves a Premier Ball. Now, Premier Balls are easy to get. If you get yourself at least... Well, an increment of 10 Pokeballs. Regular Pokeballs the the teller or the seller over at the pokemon shop will say will give you one you know one uh, what was it called premier ball per every 10 pokeballs you buy if that makes any sense right there and i think this is like my, my third premier ball now if you talk to this guy right here it's like way back in the old days devon was just a teeny tiny company so true very very true so let's go right upstairs and uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's going to be like, Devon presidents uh, like to collect rare stones. That is true. And if you talk to this person, didn't someone say the president's son likes to collect rare stones too? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. I think it's finally time for us to actually go straight to the Pokemon gym. We kind of need it. We really do, because we got the Pokemon. Now, in our last episode, too, we managed to evolve Ole into its uh, second form, which is Lombre. Now, before we go to the Pokemon Gym, I kind of want to do something right here. Going straight to Route 115, you'll be able to find yourself an item right here towards the corner. Let's go ahead and grab it. So, let's see. Right here, and we found ourselves a Zinc, which, of course, which, of course, will actually help us out later on so let's continue on right here and we're gonna be running and running and running and jumping a ledge that's right jumping the ledge okay so here it is gym badge gym battles ready look at that looks pretty awesome and there is Roxanne and she's like hello hello you must be a new challenger I am Roxanne the rocks the Rustboro City gym leader I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle or may apply in battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a Pokemon gym badge as proof as your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so the only man that's ever believed in us is like, yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become a champion? I'm no trainer, but not me, but I can sure give you a winning advice. That's settled in. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type or Grass-type moves. Come see me after a few, when, when you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Well... The funny thing is, guys, we do have both, and Tommy JDF will have to take a backseat for just right now because well, we, we do have the experience here. Don't take us gym leader lightly, or gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Okay, alrighty. Let's go right ahead and take on Youngster Josh because, well, we're always going to be taking on Youngster Jocks. And, well, here we go. Ole, ready to go. All right, time to catch these hands. Razor Leaf Attack for the win. Now, be aware that, you know, Geodudes, they do have the sturdy technique. So, yeah, one-hit KOs will not work perfectly on these guys. So, here we go. Don't know what move it was. I think it was Tackle. So, let's go straight for a Boble Attack right here. 
And the bubbly attack works. That's right. Bubbly. Okay, so let's see. Experience share does the thing. And he's going to be not with another Geodude, so let's continue on right here. All right, here we go. Bubbly attack for the win. And there we go. This Geodude does not have the sturdy technique, so that's kind of that kind of sucks right there. And well, Zigzagoon has grown to level eight. Everybody else is growing levels too, so that's pretty awesome right there. Okay, so let us move on right here and be seen by another Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead, skip through and everything. Now, I did mention early on in this walkthrough that we do not have the speed button. How I missed the speed button. This probably would have been sped up, but. We're going to go at a normal speed because we're using an external, uh, well, like an external capture card. That means we got wires and everything. So here we go. Razor Leaf attack. Leaves him with one HP. Alrighty. Okay. Another tackle attack. And Ole is not going to take that. So let's go with a bubbly attack. And there we go. Just like that. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, there's more experience points for all of us. And Sexy Flag grows to level 9. Slack off at level 8. And Youngster Tommy has been defeated. Yes. Okay, so I think... Let's see. Yeah, we got one more battle, probably. We could skip her. Let's see. First is first. Let's go right ahead and see what Tommy JDF has, okay? And... It looks like to me, if it gets one battle in, it could evolve right there and then. So, let's see what would happen. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer in this school. The number two. Holy crud. Okay. Okay, so here we go. School kid Georgia. And she is coming out with a Geodude right here. And, well, we're going with the man, Ole. And what we're going to do next is we're going to be going straight for an Absorb attack. And, well, just like that, we're healed up and ready to go. And there you go. Okay. And let's see. Look at that. Level 15 for Ole. Everybody else gets some points. And Georgia has been defeated. Okay. So, I guess it's up to Ole right here. Alrighty. It's time. Let's see what this is all about. Wow, this gym is looking pretty awesome. And here is Roxanne, and she's like, just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon were uh, would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Oh, wow. Okay, so here it is. It's time. We're taking on Roxanne, the gym leader. And, well, she's going to be coming out with her usual Geodude right here. Alrighty, bring it on. We got the right Pokemon for this whole thing, so let's go right ahead and go straight for a Razor Leaf attack. Hopefully this will be a critical hit, so here we go, Razor Leaf. And of course, Geodude will survive because it does have Sturdy, and here comes a Rock Tomb attack. This will lower our speed, which kind of sucks a little bit. So let's go straight for an Absorb attack. And this is perfect because, well, Geodude is now healing up. And that one hit KO will not work, so there we go. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. There it is, and there you go. So Ole gained some points, and Zigzagoon grows to level 9. And here comes Nosepass. This Pokemon right here has a boatload of defense. You guys have to be careful, because it will try and mess with you in just whatever way possible. So here you go, Razor Leaf Attack. And... Look at that, it's defense just through the roof, and here comes a Rock Tomb attack. We're losing speed, so what's going to happen now is we're going to go with the, the Absorb because, well, we're going to be taking quite a few hits from this guy. So here we go, Absorb. Look at that. Okay, so we are getting healed up. Let's go again, one more Absorb attack, and here comes a Tackle. And... Here we go. Absorb nearly defeats Nosepass. Holy crud. And, well, we're expecting this Pokemon to actually increase or to... Oh, no. It's going to tackle us again. I thought it was going to heal up. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. 
And just like that, we win. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, okay, and Sexy Fly grows to level 10. We're gonna be getting a sexy kind of beautify, I think. And Slack Off learning Slack Off. Hmm. Okay. And she's like, so I lost. It seems that I, ha I still have much more to learn. Yes, you do. And, well, our shiny Silcoon is finally evolving. And we're gonna get ourselves a shinier Pokemon, so yes. Now, I don't know what the whole norm is for many of you shiny Pokemon hunters and all that stuff. Evolving this Pokemon, I really don't care. But look at this. We got ourselves a shiny Beautifly. Holy buckets. It is now called Sexy Fly because it's beyond Beautifly. Holy crud. And it's learned Gust. Okay. Yes, we got ourselves a pretty rare Pokemon. And, well, I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that the trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept this official gym uh, Pokemon League uh, stone badge. And just like that, guys, we got ourselves our very first gym badge, the stone, the stone badge. And, well, the stone badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also obey you. And, please take this with you, too. Grabbed ourselves the TM39 Rock Tomb. Very good move. The move Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers the target speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches a move to the Pokemon. And you can use the TM as many times as you want, so please try it out. Yes. Alrighty. Throwing at that peace sign, guys. I am feeling like the PIMP. Yes. We are victorious. And, well, I guess he, we should talk to him. He's like, whoa! What a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Check your, uh, or check your trainer card. These stone beds should uh, be recorded on it, and in other words, you've climbed your first step to the, to the stairs of the championship. Very promising. Okay, let's go right ahead and see what we got. And, well, as you guys can see, we got ourselves our very first badge, and look at that, Roxanne, looking beautiful as always. Yes, we have defeated her. Alrighty, okay. Feeling like a pimp, kicking some butt, taking some names, and oh my god, here we go again. Out of the way! Move it! Okay. Oh my god. Wait! Please! Don't take those parts! Ah. Okay. Alrighty. So, it looks like uh, there's something afoot. A big foot. So, in the next episode, we're going to be checking out the whole situation in there, because I'm pretty sure it has something to do with Team Aqua. Other than that, guys... Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as possible. And uh, yeah, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.